Hi, how's it going? This is Resonant of Collinwood for YouTube, and I'm here to continue my Versus series of the original characters versus the 1991 revival Dark Shadows characters. So, what two characters am I doing today? Well, I'm doing Maggie Evans and Maggie Evans. In the 19... 66 original series Maggie Evans was played by of course Catherine Lee Scott now originally you, if you've watched the beginning episodes and I'm sure a lot of people have you notice Maggie Evans has blonde hair well Catherine Lee Scott's wearing a wig and thank god they ditched that wig like yesterday's news not too long in the episode count they completely, thank goodness they ditched the wig. So, Maggie Evans in the original series is a waitress and a cook in the Collinsport Hotel uh, dining room, sort of. It's sort of, the dining room is on the part of, is part of the hotel. And it's very small. It's a place you can go grab something to eat, some pie, some donuts, hamburger, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Coffee. And Maggie works there in the beginning episodes. Now, the difference... Oh, sorry. Maggie Evans has a father. His name is Sam Evans. And Sam Evans is a painter in the original series. He's a frequent patron of the blue whale i mean he might he might as well own the blue whale as often he is there and that sort of segues into ellie pogut's maggie evans of the 1991 revival series sam evans so i'm basically doing sort of both in a sense sam evans in the revival series maggie's father he's not a painter he is the owner of the blue whale and it fits, because if you're familiar with the series, you know how often Sam was there. Now, I'm not saying that their Sam Evans is the same as the original. No, no, no. He's not. He is completely different. He has a completely different attitude. He's not this drunk, glum guy who's depressed and down on himself and feels guilty for certain things. Maggie Evans, Ellie Pogut's Maggie Evans, <clears throat> shockingly is a medium. Now, is that the most shocking thing about her? No, and I'd like to uh, point out something I did incorrectly before. I didn't think that Maggie Evans had visions, and she did. She did have visions in the revival series, so I was wrong about that, and I apologize for that. So... Maggie the Medium did have visions in the Revival series. Now, the so what are the similarities between these two characters? One, their names. Two, their father's names. But outside of that, these two characters are literally night and day. I mean, they are complete polar opposites of one another. They're not the same character. Sure, Maggie Evans in the revival is nice, same as Catherine Lee Scott's, you know, Maggie Evans. I will say, I would, if I had to, which character had more attitude toward them, I'm going to point towards the original. I think Catherine Lee Scott brought more of the attitude that, you know, especially in the beginning episodes, and even Maggie Evans did not take being talked down to very kindly, no matter who it was by. Even if it was her own dad, she would bellow back. And that's something I loved about the original Maggie Evans, Catherine Lee Scott's character. In the revival, the, our Maggie, here's the one similarity. Here's the similarity. They're both scared. And here's what I mean by that. Maggie Evans in the original is scared, excuse me, is scared that her father is in some sort of trouble. And she doesn't know what. She wants to protect him and she's not sure how. In the revival, 
Maggie the medium knows not only is her life in danger, but she feels Roger's life is in danger. That David, that David is a danger. And so they're both scared. Now, what's the biggest, most shocking thing about the 1991 revival Maggie Evans, played by Ellie Pogut? Her relationship, her sexual relationship, and yes, I do mean sexual, with Roger Collins. You want to talk about jaw-dropping and eye-opening. And you might say, why is that so shocking compared to the original? <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. In the original series, Catherine Lee Scott's Maggie Evans hated Roger Collins. She, she despised, you know, Roger. And in a lot of ways, what, what Roger and perhaps the Collins family were doing to her father, she wasn't sure who all knew what was going on with her dad at first. You know, she, she just, you were never going to get Roger Collins from the original series and Maggie Evans in the, in the original series in, involved in some sort of sexual relationship or a friendly relationship at all. They just completely butted heads because of Maggie's father, Sam, and because of, well, Sam's secret. And Sam's secret was that he saw Roger driving the car the night of the manslaughter. It wasn't Burke Devlin who was driving the car. It was Roger. In the So in the revival, Maggie Evans, who's played by Ellie Pogut, is having a sexual relationship <gasps> with... Yes. So, in the revival, there's this sexual relationship between Roger and Maggie. And you're wondering, is it is it for some sort of advantage? Somewhat. She's sort of sleeping with Roger to sort of... For, because of the blue whale, is sort of behind in their payments, and they have to pay it to the constable. But... Here's the thing. Roger and Maggie do talk to one another. They don't, don't have sex. This isn't completely a sex-based relationship. There does seem to be some sort of gradual communication. So when you look at Maggie Evans in the 1991 revival, you're going, wait a second. There's something there between these two. Does Rod, You're sort of questioning, and I can't wait to get into Roger versus Roger, you're sort of wondering, does Roger care about Maggie, Ellie Pogut's character? Because it's very interesting. It's very curious. And that is something I will impose to the Dark Shadows audience as well. Do you guys think that he cared about her? I do in some sense. Now to continue with this, the differences, what's the biggest, to me, one of the biggest differences well, in the original series, we know Maggie Evans is, Catherine Lee Scott's character, is going to get kidnapped by Barnabas Collins because she is the reincarnation of Josette Dupre. At least that's how Barnabas views her. Ellie Pogut's Maggie Evans, that's not going on because... As I've mentioned in my Victoria Winners versus Victoria Winners, Joanna Goings is the reincarnation of Josette. Now, to sort of refresh from last video, no, Joanna Goings is Victoria Winners does not get kidnapped by Barnabas. So, there is that. Now, Maggie is the spitting image of Josette Dupre. She looks like her, but is she Josette? No. She has her own attitude, her own swagger, her own voice. She's not Josette Dupre, and it's something that helps her fight the... the um, it's something that helps her fight the the possession powers that Barnabas is having over her. She knows she's not Josette. She knows she's Maggie Evans. And I think that's something that's not only well written, but well acted, acted, acted by Catherine Lee Scott. Ellie Pogut, where she shines, where I love her the most, it's not just when she's with somebody, but when she's by herself. She just... 
I love her interactions with Joanna. I love her interactions with Roger's character. I, again, there's so much there for that character, and there was so much potential for Ellie Pogut's Maggie Evans going into season two. Now, I do want to talk about what the end result was for each of these characters. So, what did happen to Catherine Lee Scott's Maggie Evans at the end of the original series? By the end of the original series, Catherine Lee Scott's Maggie Evans had been taken to Smith Grove, Warren County. Or, sorry, yes, Smith Grove. Oh, my God. <laughs> wrong show. Halloween clearly entered my brain at the wrong time. And we're going to just, yeah. Yep. Ma Maggie had been taken to Wincliffe Sanitarium. And it's really odd that you're thinking there's nothing really wrong with her, but she is being bothered by the ghost of Gerard. And it, it just, they're taking her away to sort of save her life. Not necessarily... By the ghost of yeah, I really was. I was possessed by the ghost of somebody. But, so, like I said, my videos aren't edited, so this this will get in there. Um, bloopers. Yeah, bloopers. Dark Shadows is nothing without them. We, bloopers, we gotta have bloopers every, not on purpose, by the way. But, <laughs> goodness. Um, they're not taking her away to necessarily commit her in a mean way they're taking her away to protect her they're taking her away to keep her safe from gerard's ghost they're taking her away to wincliffe sanitarium so which is in bangor maine fictionally of course as we know so that's what happens to maggie evans at the end of the original series now, Ellie Pogut's character, here's what I find real interesting. Because we have Maggie the Medium, because we have a character <coughs> who has visions, who can do things because she's a medium, you know, get people unpossessed, Dr. Hoffman in the revival becomes possessed by Angelique. So, Ellie Pogut's Maggie Evans is trying to force her out. And they think they've got her out. They think, oh, wow, we, this is working, right? Lo and behold, the surprise of the century. Angelique has jumped bodies from Dr. Hoffman's to Maggie Evans. And it's one of the most beautiful moments because I'm thinking, man, you have so much. To me, both characters have great potential. And I want to get into that with this video. Where Ellie Pogut's character had a lot of potential is not just through her, but it's through uh, the character of Roger because they have a relationship. And he would have noticed her odd behavior, maybe first and foremost, because, again, he's having sex with her. And I would have really loved to see what that would have been like. I dare say Roger, Roger in season, if there would have ever been a season two of the revival could have been your potential hero he could have been your protagonist um again it, it it had all the setup of him being sort of her hero and trying to rescue her from this this witch possessing his girlfriend his uh, his girlfriend or at least the girl he was having sex with now for Catherine lee scott's maggie evans i do think they left a world of potential with her too because again She's in Wincliffe to be protected from the ghost of Gerard. But again, because she's in there, they could have just forgotten about her. And she could have just stayed there because she was in such a mental state that she may, she herself may have forgotten who she was. I'd like to think she didn't forget who she was and she just chose to stay there because she felt safer there. But... Again, that's something, again, if a, if a sequel series ever came to life, they could touch upon. And I'll tell you who touched upon this really well. Shout out to him is John Philip Betancourt in his story, Return of Dark Shadows, where, where he had Maggie Evans in Wincliffe Sanitarium. I won't fuck it up this time. <laughs> um, in his story, and he, she had rescued David from Wincliffe, which was really, really well written. So that is sort of something that's been explored by fan fiction. 
And again, I would love to see it sort of something like that come to television where you're seeing Maggie Evans in Wincliffe and she she finally gets out and returns to Collinsport. That's something they could definitely do. With the revival series, Ellie Pogets, my God, the potential of a medium and the things they did with her were amazing. Again, they they had so much room for a season two, and the fact that they never do it was a huge disappointment for the revival. Because here's this character who was A, possessed, B, a medium, and now you sort of wonder how much is she fighting Angelique, who's this powerful witch? Because you gotta believe, something Ellie Pogut's character really, that I think may, 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 sorry, some people may gloss over, is something Ellie Pogut's Maggie Evans' character, what really hooked me with her was, she says that Laura, David's mother, is a witch. I gotta believe Ellie Pogut is inside fighting hell out of Angelique. Like, I got bigger problems than you, girlfriend. You gotta get out of my body. <laughs> because this lady, this other lady, she's a coming for me. <laughs> I gotta believe that fight's going on inside that body. Um, just both actresses did an amazing job. And I'm not... I don't want people to think I'm choosing sides and I'm choosing one side over the other. This is just more of a of a fun way to sort of look at the differences and similarities between both characters. Now, something I want to point out in the revival again, there's no Burke Devlin. Um, so there's no tense relationship from the Burke standpoint in the revival. Now, in the original we know that's there. We know Ryan Mitchell is just working his tail off and being a, a real interesting character in the beginning episodes and throughout Dark Shadows. And obviously we know Ryan Mitchell leaves after sometime after, episode, after Barnabas gets out. And it, it's really interesting that, again, yeah, I do wish Ryan Mitchell would have stayed, but he obviously didn't, which sucks, but... I don't think Anthony George did a horrible job. I think he he really tried to do his best. Um, so, I'm trying to think if there's anything I missed between Catherine Lee Scott's Maggie Evans and Ellie Pogans. I will say this. Catherine Lee Scott's Maggie Evans, here's the one thing I did not like. I did not like the fact that they put Maggie, that their plot, snap this, is Maggie Evans being the replacement governess. Because it sort of, it sort of gives way to something that Roger has said in the beginning. We could have hired anybody from Collinsport to do this, to do Victoria Winter's job. And it seems like that's all they did. I mean, I'm not knocking the actress. I'm just... The decision behind it just seems like they're, they're just looking for another governess and they just hire an, uh, Maggie Evans. And I'm thinking, well, that's that's interesting. So they're just placing Maggie in the house. Why doesn't Maggie go back to the cafe? Why doesn't Maggie work that job and try to, you know, or sell her father's paintings and keep her own house? Like, why? Like, what? what's... I didn't really understand the decision. Do I think it's a horrible decision? Not necessarily. I'm just not the most favoritism of it. I do find it interesting what they did with her because they kept her fresh, her character fresh, and so did she by involving her in storylines. Obviously, we know they're going to go, they went back to 1897, and she's going to play Rachel Drummond. When she comes back, she's, again, she's Maggie Evans, and she's heavily, by the way, she's really... The Leviathan storyline, where you really feel sorry for her most, is Maggie, because she's getting tortured the shit out of by, by young Michael. <laughs> and David, I mean, they're just, they're they're really hammering Maggie, <laughs> just left and right, um, which is amazing. So, I hope you guys enjoy this versus video, Maggie Evans versus Maggie Evans. Again, I tried to find a picture of both. Alexander and Joanna together, and I'm going to try to find that picture of uh, maybe Catherine Lee Scott and Ellie Pogut somewhat. 
But if I can't, there will just be a picture of Catherine Lee Scott because I want... <laughs> Oh, that's sort of, I'm not choosing the original over the revival. I'm just more choosing who you're f more familiar with. So, and who I'm more familiar with. Um, Ellie Pogut did an amazing job. She deserves a lot of credit. I'm sorry if I mispronounced her last name. I don't think I did. If I did, please let me know. Um, or if I missed anything, please let me know. I hope you guys enjoy this Dark Shadows video. I wanted to get this up for you guys today. I will have a video up for you Friday. Uh, that'll be my next uh, versus video. And I hope you guys have a great and wonderful Tuesday.